Take a journey with us as we venture deep into the heart of the Amazon rainforest. Hidden amidst the lush emerald expanse, whispers of an ancient city have echoed through time. The city of Akakor, a name that resonates with mystery and allure. This isn't just a city, it's a legend spoken of in ancient scrolls discovered in this very jungle. Each parchment, a breadcrumb, leading us closer to the truth. Akakor, a city that supposedly thrived with ancient civilization, now shrouded in the verdant veil of time and nature. As we navigate through the dense green canopy, we try to unravel the secrets of this mythical city. Did it exist? The Amazon hides many secrets, and Akakor might be its biggest yet. Let's venture together in search of the truth behind the legendary city of Akakor. A journey of discovery, mystery, and exploration awaits you, right here in the heart of the Amazon. Imagine an advanced civilization flourishing 9,000 years ago on a thriving island nation. This isn't a scene from a blockbuster movie, but an idea from one of the most influential philosophers of all time, Plato. He named this island Atlantis. According to his writings, Atlantis was a powerful and advanced kingdom that, unfortunately, sank beneath the waves in a day and night of catastrophic misfortune. Was Atlantis real or just a myth? This question has intrigued explorers and scientists for centuries. Some view it as a pure work of fiction, a metaphor created by Plato. However, there are those who hold a persistent belief in its reality, tirelessly searching for any evidence that could validate its existence. Beneath the waves, they hope to uncover remnants of a civilization lost in time, supporting the notion that Atlantis, Plato's sunken island nation, was more than just a tale spun by the philosopher, but a slice of our ancient history waiting to be rediscovered. Immerse yourself in the sands of time as we journey to the lost city of Iram, also known as Ubar, a legend whispered across centuries in the echoes of the Arabian winds. A city rich in antiquity, Iram was once a beacon of prosperity, a nexus of trade and wealth, whose influence seeped through the annals of history. Mentioned in the sacred Quran and ancient Arabic scrolls, this city has left indelible footprints on the sands of time. Yet, it vanished, shrouded by the desert's cloak, its grandeur buried under the dunes. Legends whisper of a city punished, swallowed by the sand for the transgressions of its residents under a corrupt leader's sway. Now, after centuries, archaeologists believe they've discovered the city's skeletal remains in the vast expanse of Oman, unearthing whispers of forgotten grandeur. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of Iram, the lost city of Ubar, and venture into a world where history meets legend. Venture with us into the echoes of time, to the kingdom of Leoness. This realm of myth and legend, supposedly located off the rugged coast of Cornwall, England. Envision a place where grandeur met simplicity, a land of lords and serfs, where chivalry was not just an ideal, but a way of life. This was Leoness, a kingdom that stood strong until the 5th or 6th century AD, a time when nature's wrath was unleashed, when a great flood swept over the land, submerging every castle and hamlet. With it disappeared centuries of culture and history, swallowed whole by the unforgiving sea. Yet, the memory of Leoness has not been lost to the waves. It echoes in the wind, whispers in the Cornish lands, and lives on in the hearts of the dreamers. Leoness, the sunken kingdom a testament to the fleeting nature of human grandeur and a reminder of the power of nature and time. Deep in the heart of South America, amid the lush emerald jungles of Colombia, lies a whisper of an ancient legend, the city of Mariquita. This legendary city, veiled by time and cloaked in mystery, was rumored to be crafted entirely out of pure, gleaming gold. It was a city that would have sparked the wildest dreams of even the most fervent treasure seekers. The Spanish explorers, seduced by the allure of this golden paradise, devoted centuries in relentless pursuit of Mariquita. They trawled the dense Colombian forests, 
scaled the towering Andean peaks, and navigated treacherous rivers, only to return empty-handed, their dreams of golden splendor evaporating like morning mist. Yet, despite their exhaustive efforts, Marikita remained elusive, its existence unconfirmed, its location unknown. No tangible evidence of the city has ever been unearthed, leaving the legend of Marikita forever shrouded in mystery and intrigue. So, the story of Marikita lives on, an enduring tale of human ambition, the elusive pursuit of wealth, and the tantalizing power of the unknown. Deep within the heart of the American Southwest, veiled by the sun's rays and the dust of time, an enigma beckons the bold and the curious the legend of Montezuma's castle. Once upon a time, or so the story goes, the esteemed Aztec emperor Moctezuma II, with his empire on the brink of Spanish conquest, secreted away a monumental treasure. This wasn't any ordinary treasure, but a colossal hoard, a testament to the grandeur of a once mighty civilization. Entrusted to the concealed walls of an unseen city, it was designed to be an emblem of Aztec resistance and resilience. Like the ultimate game of hide-and-seek, countless expeditions have dared to unravel this mystery, embarking on quests filled with intrigue, hope, and adventure. Yet, despite their relentless efforts, the city remains elusive, a mirage dancing in the heat of the desert. The secret of Montezuma's treasure, hidden within this spectral city, remains untouched, waiting for the worthy to decipher its riddles and claim its glory. Welcome to the legendary city of El Dorado, a place cloaked in golden mysteries and rich lore. Nestled within these tales is the captivating story of a golden bell, a mystic symbol of this mythical city. They say it's not the city of gold that's mythical, it's the stories, the legends interwoven with the fabric of time that truly defines El Dorado. Now, let's delve deep into one such enchanting tale. Picture this. Hidden temples, shrouded by the thick jungle, veiled in secrecy, and protected by more than just physical barriers. Around these sacred sites, invisible spirits whisper warnings to those who dare to venture close. Lying in wait are cunning booby traps, ready to confound the most seasoned adventurers. Yet, the most intriguing part? A golden bell. As legends say, it tolls a haunting melody only when an intruder dares to breach the sacred grounds. Such is the allure, the magic, the mystery of El Dorado. A myth? Perhaps. But a captivating one that continues to enthrall us even today. Join us on a journey through time and imagination as we delve into the legend of the City of the Caesars. Nestled in the heart of South America, this mythical city has captivated explorers and dreamers for centuries. Told to be a refuge for Romans fleeing the fall of their empire, it is said to have been a city of great wealth and civilization. Descendants of ancient Romans, maintaining their culture and traditions, are believed to have thrived in this elusive city. Spanish explorers, fueled by glory and gold, relentlessly sought the city. But alas, it always slipped through their fingers. No concrete evidence of its existence has ever been unearthed. Yet, the city of the Caesars continues to live, not in the physical world, but in the realm of legends and folklore. So, put on your adventurer's hat, and let's continue to seek the unseekable, the city of the Caesars. Welcome to the captivating world of the Khmer Empire, an ancient kingdom not entirely lost, but somewhat veiled in mystery. Known as the creators of the majestic Angkor Wat, the Khmer Empire's marvels don't end there. The empire's glory days may be behind us, but its legacy reverberates through the corridors of time. As we delve deeper, archaeologists continue to decipher the puzzle of this once mighty empire, Piecing together the remnants of that path, they seek to understand the complex social structure that upheld the Khmer society. A sophisticated water management system, far ahead of its time, is another testament to the Khmer's advanced civilization. But the puzzle remains incomplete, as the cause of their decline still eludes us. Every discovery peels back another layer of the enigma, bringing us closer to understanding the rise and fall of the Khmer Empire. So, 
Let's embark on this journey of discovery together, illuminating the shadows of the past. Behold, the tale of the seven cities of Cibola, a legend that shaped the course of history. It was these fabled cities, resplendent with gold, that ignited the burning ambition in the hearts of the 16th century Spanish conquistadors. Driven by tales of vast riches and grandeur, they embarked on grueling expeditions, venturing into the uncharted territories of North America. Their relentless pursuit of these phantom cities, however, was met with bitter reality, for no such cities were ever unearthed. Yet, the myth of Chibola was far from a futile endeavor. Instead, it served as a beacon, fueling the exploration of the new world. It was this unyielding quest that led to the discovery of lands that we now recognize as New Mexico and Arizona. Thus, the legend of Cibola, while an illusion, was instrumental in unveiling the reality of a new world.